guys, welcome to Copycat Beauty. Today I'm going to do a full review of Jane Cosmetics fall line that's coming out. I have some products here that are not from the fall line, but they're like the ones that are in the whole collection forever. So I have some BB cream, some powders, some eyeliners, some glosses and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see me try on these products and talk about them, keep watching. So the first product I'm going to talk about and show you guys is the Jane Be Beautiful Multi Benefit BB Cream. And um, this is the shade Medium. So if you guys can see me trying it on, it is just a really smooth um, BB cream with 30, I think it's 30, 30 SPF, which is pretty awesome. Normally the highest you can find in foundations is like 20 to 25. So that was really impressive. That was the first thing I really liked about this. Um, the shade medium is a little bit dark for me. I would definitely um, use a mixture between light and medium, but um, for this tutorial I did use the medium shade and I just dotted this all over my face and my favorite way to apply this was with a beauty blender. Um, you could try with just your fingers and it would be just as nice, but the beauty blender um, for me works way better because it thins it out and I like more of like a sheer coverage, but if you're looking for a full coverage, use your fingers or you could use a foundation brush. But I do, I really like this um, product. It doesn't uh, go away during the day. It doesn't settle into fine lines or wrinkles. And I really like that it is water resistant. That sounds weird because you're thinking like water resistant. Why do I need it to be water resistant? I'm not like jumping in a pool or like going in the ocean, but it's like sweat proof. So, I mean, it is fall and it's gonna get cooler out, but still like during the day, your makeup's not going to move around because it is water resistant, which is like sweat proof, anything proof. It's just going to stay on, which is awesome. So I definitely would recommend this product, but I am warning the medium is pretty dark. So if you are fair skin like me, get the lighter color. And I believe that one is, it's just called light. So try that out. So the next product I'm going to talk to you guys about is Jane's Powder, and this is the Multicolored Color Correcting Powder, and it's just, if you can see, really cute little design in there. It's little flowers, and there's like a pink shade, a purple shade, an orangey tone, and like a green. So what you do is you just want to swirl your brush around in there and put this over any areas you want to um, mattify or just keep from getting shiny throughout the day or keep your makeup from moving around. So what I do is I just swirl my brush around in there, get all the colors, and then I do it underneath my eyes because I do have like a really deep purple under my eyes and this really helps to balance it out. And I believe it's the green in there that balances out the purple. And then I put it on my chin, around my nose, or on my forehead, any areas throughout the day that I want to keep matte or not shiny. So it says this product contains vitamin E, which I really like that about it. Um, I really like, it's just a really um, fine grain to the product. Like it's not like a cakey, it's very thin. So just putting a light layer, you could put this all over your face if you wanted to. Normally I would not advise that because that is how you get cakey. But I think that this is like finely milled enough that it's not going to get cakey at all. So I definitely love this. I keep this in my purse throughout the day. Just put some on with like a little travel, get a little travel brush, put it on over at any areas that you get shiny and you're good to go. So the next product I'm going to show you guys is this blushing bronze duo. And this one is in peony pink glow. So the first thing I really, really, really love about this product is the packaging. It's so cute. I love the colors and I just love what Jane decided to do with all of their fall packaging. So that was a, like a major plus in my book because I love packaging. And um, the product itself is amazing. This is my favorite out of everything that I got. This is my favorite, number one. I'm going to recommend this to everybody to go to, I think they sell at Ulta, Kohl's, and online. But this is awesome. They also have it in sun-kissed coral which is like a peachy color like a coral peach color and then i believe it's like a deeper bronze color but i love this one because i do like just a natural like pretty pink doll um blush so definitely give this a try it says um 
It retails for $12, so that's a really good price to have a, br a blush and a bronzer in here. And you can just, you can travel with it, and then you don't have to have two separate compacts. And I just, I love everything about this product. So definitely try it out. So moving on, um, next I have this eyeshadow trio. And the shade is, I get, or the little palette is called Sensual Shell. And um, again, the packaging on this is so cute. It's the same as the one for the blush and bronzer, but purple. So I really liked the pink and purple, it was really cute. Um, so in here, there is a, just a really pretty, they're all shimmery, but they have a gold shade, a dark chocolate brown shade, and then like a highlighting champagne pink color. So I've been using this nonstop. I love these eyeshadows. They're really pigmented and creamy. Definitely recommend using a primer underneath them though, um, because they are so, glittery if you if you use a primer and apply your shadow on like right away as you're after you put the primer on it will help um you'll get less like glitter fallout all over your face because it'll stick to the primer so definitely use that um so what i do is i just use the gold shade which i love this is definitely my favorite all over the lid and i just use my finger because i find that since it is so glittery when you apply it with a blush or a blush a brush it just kind of falls out all over your face and you get that fallout all over and then you mess up when you try to wipe it off. So I'm just gonna press that in all over my eyelid with my finger and then take the champagne color, put that right on your inner corner just to uh, widen your eyes up and like open them up so you look more awake. And then I take the dark chocolatey brown color and what I do is I mix that with a little bit of water to create an eyeliner, which is what they suggest um, with that deep shade. And then I just do like a nice fine little line on my lid and it doesn't really matter. You can, this is definitely something I would recommend to beginners. If you have never worn makeup or you like consider yourself um, a beginner and you don't really feel comfortable trying out um, like a big full, like a naked palette or like any of Urban Decay's like bigger palettes that are like $50 try this this will work really well for you it only has three colors so it's really simple lightest color goes on the inside the shiny gold color all over the lid and then use the dark shadow as a liner or to deepen up the outside and this also comes in um berry bliss which is like lilac shades like purples so i'm going to try that one out and then um chocolate crest which is warm browns so that might be nice too i'll try that one out too but this for this whole thing of big those are pretty big eyeshadows it's only ten dollars so i mean it's worth trying trying it out and i really think you guys will like it so next up is the jane water resistant eyeliner and i had trouble picking like what would be my favorite thing when i tell you guys about all these products and i chose the the blush and the bronzer but this is like it was a tie between the two, but this is definitely like my second favorite. This eyeliner, I want to go buy, I think they have 20, 20 shades in these eyeliners. I want them all. And I mean, everything about this is awesome. What I like to do, I like to use it in my inner rim because it is water resistant. So if your eyes water or tear up, it's not going to come off. But I also like to just smudge it in. Um, just You can be so messy with this. Just smudge it in on your lower lash line and then take a um, like a stiff little tiny uh, shadow brush and smudge it out and so that will really help to give you that like dramatic um, look on your lower lash line that looks really nice and definitely put mascara on to balance everything out um, even if you're not going to wear other makeup you can just put this on smudge it out you could always put some like a darker shade on the uh, upper waterline smudge that out too and um, just this shade. I think this is going to be a really popular color for fall because it is like that jewel tone that is really popular. And um, I, I just love, this is like, definitely try this. And I think it retails for $6. Yes, yeah, $6. So, I mean, that's a pretty good deal for an awesome eyeliner. I would compare this to um, Stila's. I think it's Stila has those water resistant eyeliners. And those are pretty awesome. And I think that those go for about $15. So definitely this is a steal for an eyeliner. And they have some other really cool shades that I want to try. They have like a purple lilac, a rose gold. That's awesome. Um, a brown, like deep purple. So definitely give this a try. And if you see any um, 
Jane liners and you like them, comment below and tell me which shades you like because I really want to try out some more. So the last product that I used in my little mini tutorial where I show you guys trying everything on um, is this Intense Lip Gloss, I think it's called. Intense Color Lip Stain. So, or no, Intense Color Lip Gloss, sorry. But yeah, this is in the shade Inspire and I really, I'm so glad that they picked this color for me because this is like my perfect lip gloss shade. It's not too pink and it's not too like little girl glossy glittery, but it's just like a really nice like your lips but better shade. So I definitely love this. It's not sticky. It has vitamin E so it will hydrate your lips and if you have like little crackles on your lips, it just covers right over that and you won't be able to tell like it won't settle in there. And it also doesn't come off very easily. So I find that I can apply it, drink out of cups and everything and it'll still stay on without being like that gross sticky gloss feeling. So I definitely love this, recommend it. And I definitely recommend this shade. I also, they have some really deep um, purpley, almost um, like that MAC, the Lord, the new Lord lipstick coming out from um, MAC. They have this in a gloss color, so I definitely would recommend that for fall. So if you're in need of a new gloss, like a new basic gloss to throw in your purse or wear like every day, definitely recommend Inspire. So the last two products I'm going to talk to you guys about from Jane Cosmetics is the Crushed Velvet Volumizing Mascara. And this is just a really cool um, royal blue color. And I've been wearing this all the time to class, like even if I have no makeup on and I just want to throw on like a little concealer and mascara. Well, that's not no makeup, but you know what I mean. So I will put this on and I find that people, I can, I look over and I can catch people like kind of staring and trying to figure out like, is that her eyeshadow or her eyelashes? But it's just such a bright, awesome color. And I didn't use it in this tutorial because I felt like it didn't go, like I didn't want to have too much blue going on, but I do. I love this product and I'll definitely, definitely be using this in a tutorial sometime soon. So keep an eye out for this because I think this is gonna be a really, really popular product. And it definitely, normally like when products do um, the whole, I think Maybelline did like a line of colored mascaras or something. Normally the product kind of sucks, but the color's really nice. This is just on its own a great mascara because they do, I think they do sell it in a black. They have purple, burgundy, and blue pearl, which is this shade. And just on its own, it's a great mascara. I would buy it if it was a black mascara, which you can't normally say about the colored ones. So I definitely recommend this. I think this is gonna be really, really popular, and I think that you're gonna start seeing people wearing royal blue mascara. And this retails for $9, so that's pretty good for mascara. And then the very last product is the pH Adjusting Stain Gloss. So when I got this, I was a little bit confused because what does that mean? but apparently you put it on and it creates like a custom color for you. So it's like a mood ring, but like lip gloss version. And um, this is really cool. It's not sticky. It smells really good. It smells like, like vanilla or something, but I really like this product. It's like a thin, just a little thin layer of gloss and it works really well. It has vitamin E in it, I believe. And it's just a sheer nice little tint of color. So if you're looking for like a basic gloss as well, this one's, I will say, this one's a lot thinner than the other one, so if you don't like a thicker gloss on your lips, this one is for you rather than um, the other Inspire one that I showed you guys. So this one retails for $7, which is pretty awesome for a good lip gloss. And it's kind of cool that it's like a pH adjusting gloss that's just weird and it's cool, so try it out. Okay, so that is it for this Jane review slash tutorial slash just kind of like talk with me sort of video. Um, so I just wanted to say I, I love this whole, all, everything that they sent me, I loved so much. But I just noticed as I was reading through the little product descriptions that they gave me, on here it says, Compassion is contagious. For every Jane Cosmetics sold, Jane will donate one equal beauty product to a local women's shelter to give the gift of confidence. Buy one, give one to a neighbor in need. And I mean, I already loved their products, but now I just love them that much more and I want to go buy all of their stuff. So I just thought that was really great. So good for you, Jane. And thank you so much for sending me all this stuff. And I love it. And like I said, definitely try 
the eyeliner and the blush and bronzer duo. That was definitely my top two. Awesome, great job to you guys. I wanna try the other color in this and I'm gonna try and get as many of these eyeliners as I can get my hands on. So I'm really glad um, I got to try all this stuff and it was a really great opportunity and I definitely recommend this stuff to you guys. So if you like this sort of talk through tutorial product review kind of thing, give this video a thumbs up and um, thanks so much for watching Copycat Beauty.